you're watching an off the record special called the treasures of tanjavur and my guest on the show today is renowned dancer and author kalaima mani lakshmi vishwanathan who did a series of wonderful thematic presentations on tanjavur uh, this margali so i thought it would be great to have her as a guest on the show because as you all know this is the 1000th year of the consecration of the bradishwara temple earlier in the show lakshmi and i talked about the great emperor rajaraja chola and his contribution to the construction of the periyakovil his patronage of the arts we talked about her gurus and her connection with tanjavur she performed a varnam and her students performed an athesa kautvam i thought now we could talk about the great composers who hail from tanjavur and uh, why not we begin with the tanjore quartet the tanjore quartet are iconic in the sense that uh, they actually codified the whole format as uh, we know it today of bharatanatyam and they were also uh, great with the uh, raga system because they were disciples of muttu swami dikshit so they had a full comprehension of uh, melody and rhythm so they were ideally suited to compose pieces like swarajati jati swaram and uh, of course the padavarnams they also composed tillanas and javalis but they were not the only composers for dance there were other composers in the tanjore kingdom who preceded them and followed them and they were part of uh, the repertoire that uh, dancers and gurus adopted for the dance over time the vasanta jatiswaram of course which the tanjore quartet composed is uh, something unique because you don't find so many jatiswarams in this raga and i remember learning it as a child from my guru remember you saying lakshmi that the that the tanjo quartet's understanding of jati of dance was so deep that the jati and the swaram was like the mingling of milk and honey i thought yes. that was a very nice uh, it's analogy it's a it's a tamil phrase which i translated palum tenum they always say in tamil and uh, their mastery of dance language based on uh, natya shastra and other texts was so perfect that they knew exactly how to fit the rhythmic aspect to the melodic aspect and uh, all composers since then have followed these principles and those who have not have uh, uh, failed the dancers i should say we find it very difficult to dance to those compositions costume is rather unusual right because the fan in front it doesn't kind of spread out like that it's it's more uh, angular plus there's a little mala they wear like yes. a poonal madri <laughs> you see uh, from old photographs i found out that two dancers very young girls they were known as the kalyani daughters from pandarnalur they were the first to perform in uh, music academy in 1932 and looking at those photographs i have recreated these costumes for these two young dancers uh, they basically wore uh, what was known as a, a typical costume made of tuya jari hmm. that is they're not real jari like tinsel hmm. and they had a fan attached to the front with uh, made of brocade or tissue it was not uh, uh, perfectly tailored as it is now it was more like a kind of an apron hmm. and uh, many of the dancers used to wear this kind of floral garland across their chest it was called kurk shaili i think it was a, a kind of a trend at that time it was also supposed to hold the jewelry in place yes. when they danced because it was like uh, right across mm -hmm. with several uh, temple jewels uh, in the front and it had a sort of a classic look about it and i thought it would be fun for today's audience to see a recreation of this old type of costume could 
uh, move to the Varnams now and you talk about the Chaukavarnam, the Tanavarnam and the Padavarnam. So can you explain the difference between the three? Musically they are different in the sense that the Padavarnam is ideally suited for dance. It has a theme which is based uh, on Sringara and also dedicated to a deity who is a favourite of the king. And it has a Chitta Swaram followed by Sahitya for all the Swarams in the Charanam. So this is uh, considered the ideal for dance. Although some dancers have tried to do the Chaukavarnam which is more for singing. It, it has elongated phrases with very few lyrics. And the Tanavarnam is strictly for uh, Kacheri performances. Very few have been tried out as uh, dance pieces. And I personally prefer the Padavarnams because they have a lilt and a, a, a tempo which is very good for Bharatanatyam. And what is wonderful is some of the Varnams are classic in their raga like the Todi Varnam in Danike. It is dedicated to one of the last Maratha king Shivaji. It also speaks of uh, Brihadishwara, but it speaks of Shivaji Raja being a big bhakta of Mahadev. And it has a, a kind of quality which you can almost uh, imagine the young dancers dancing in front of the king mm -hmm. in this beautifully adorned uh, palace in Tanjavur. Mm -hmm. The Varnams are uh, sung by the friend of the Naika, that is the Saki. She addresses the king and she says, this girl, this Naika who is longing for you, uh, she is ideal for you, for her beauty, for her talent and for her capacity to show love. You are the only one, she addresses the king. Mm. And this is a period piece which was well understood by the poets, singers, the king and the nobility who are assembled there. And the Tanjur Quartet have used the Todi Ragam in a way that even their guru was surprised. It is said that Tyagaraja himself heard this Todi Varnam and was uh, astounded by the quality of that Varnam. <laughs> Sadly, with the end of the Maratha rule, several artists, dancers and musicians alike were forced to move to the cities because of lack of patronage, also because of the British rule and the Victorian sense of propriety. Then you had the Devadasi abolition movement, the anti-Notch movement. Yes. So it was really sad that, I, I mean, I don't want to go too deeply into this, but I only mention it because uh, Tanjavur Bala Saraswati also had to move to the city. Yes. But we'll talk about that after a short break only on Off the Record, Treasures of Tanjavur. Joining me is dancer and author Kalemamani Lakshmi Vishwanathan. <laughs> <laughs> 